Hi all, so this is a big update for the giveaways and it's about MailChimp. So when you up, you have the Pro version, I'm sorry but this integration is only available for the Pro version, you'll get a MailChimp window like this, okay? So if you have anything uh, to learn anything more about this, you can go to documentation and check this. But We'll do that right now. So if you want to use it, go and activate it. And then you will need to go to settings and you need to get the API key and also something more here. So uh, to disable the subscribe email, and this is actually the email that uh, is a default default email on the giveaway and if you have your own MailChimp welcome email you should be able to check it and uncheck, uncheck it right okay and then you have a test a test list or any list at all so if I let's say if I don't have any up key right you can see that this still works but it won't actually work and why is that well that's because you require the app key to work but uh, i'm just showing you this because i want to let you know that i'm caching that so you can easily get much faster results and it's cached about 12 hours so if you add a new list then it won't won't be here uh, yet but I plan to to change that pretty soon okay so we have that right and if you go to your membership account and then on your membership account you go to I think it's account integrations or extras extras you go to appy API keys and then you create a new one create a key and then you can copy it out and paste it right in these settings here after you save that you will get a list folder list you can choose and choose one right and you may think that you're done but you're not because you need to create something here so let's say we have a test list and of course I have already tested everything but if you go to I think it's sign up forms on general and let's say that you have a confirmation thank you or final welcome email and what to do here so on that email you'll have to use this so this is actually the link to the giveaway and you have to hard code it everything on this except this merge tag which you'll place it here and you also have to do that Ooh, yeah you have to uh, what did I do okay so you also have to have that on the mail on, on the link here so that also needs to be a link you could maybe uh, wrap this link inside the words such as say your share link but uh, i would like to leave that as this so you, your subscribers can easily copy it and share it so this is the reference link to them and this is the shared share link with the share id and if you can remember that of course we i wouldn't even you can always use this and you can see the merge tag so you can see the reference id and the share id are here so you can just use them as it is okay and the last thing i want to check is when you're on that list on the settings there is a list field and merge tags and in for some reason 
you can but let me just delete that one so it doesn't confuse you okay so uh, once you save this and check here and you don't see these tags and actually the the label is not that important but the tag here so ref id or share id or uppercase and if if uh, these tags are not here once you save that just th there might be a, a disconnection on the server or something you can also go here and manually manually insert them and everything else will be just fine so that's about it so i wish you many many great uh, new emails on your mailchimp list